Hey everyone, Vita back with another video. Let's hop right into the cards, see what the guides would like you to be aware of. Whoa. Apparently a lot. There's a lot to be aware of. Oh, concern. There is concern, a lover. This could be a contract, a lover. We've got privileged lady behind lover. And then we have thief. Toil and labor could involve a job, gift, thoughts. There's concern. Why is there concern? Number 33, master number. Concern. Why is there concern? Time is running out for someone. Message. Concern about a message. Wealthy man. Main female community. Message of concern again. False person. Interesting. Okay. Someone's concerned about a message that you could be receiving or a message that they've received. This person could be a wealthy man. There's a main female. This could be you, someone else, community. This feels kind of like a small community. A community is watching someone. Something is unfolding, some sort of lie, lies expectation someone expects to be in poverty regarding an occupation great fortune so we've got wealthy man then it goes to great fortune coffin family room so there's a family oh marriage mature man courthouse despair there's a marriage that's over someone married into a wealthy family there was some sort of uh This is like hedge fund stuff, stocks, bonds, real estate, something like that. Something where you can build a lot of wealth over time or quickly and just lose it like that because of bad investments. They could have invested money from a community, community money. I think I've said this in another reading, community trust, something like that. This could be making um, the news or someone's, this could even be like some Bernie Madoff stuff, you know. Let's keep going. And you're hearing about it or you're going to hear about it or you already know about it because you're psychic, something like that. Anything else from this deck, please? And thank you. Poverty, yep. Judication. So there's a community of rich folks or want to be rich folks that are going into uh, poverty. That's their judgment. Lovers, privileged lady, thief. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what we get here. Poverty is 37. That's a 10. So we've got 33, 7, 37. Concern. This uh, courthouse, this, this uh, because it's probably wealth, wealth transfer, hedgy, funny type stuff, they probably have to uh, go to courts in different states being sued in different states this person is or these people are deception and envy so we're talking about a really deceptive envious group of folks patience and planning they spend a lot of time planning and scheming everything seems to have backfired third eye chakra like I said you could have been very well aware of these occurrences, perhaps even before they happened. So a lot of this is not much of a surprise to you. Victory and success. Disruption. Yeah, the party is over for these karmics. <coughs> That's just what it is. And someone's very concerned that you are finding out what they've been up to. 
I don't know why they're concerned. You don't really care. It's not, you're not concerned. Message. Light. Base chakra. Okay, that's interesting because we've got a similar color scheme here with this like burnt orangey like burgundy so we've got an old phone pen and ink letter you could be receiving a letter this is all materialistic greedy unsophisticated energy light emotional loss stand your ground financial and material changes. So you've got someone that's going through some se severe financial disruptions. They want to con convey their, their, um, their angst, if you will, to you because they see that you are attaining victory and success, that you are the light, that you carry the torch. Why is poverty here? that you will always carry the torch. <laughs> Transformations, clarifying poverty, throat chakra, recognition and reward, mental conflict. So this person is very conflicted. They're going through some mental disturbances. They cannot find their words they don't want to tell the truth but they know they need to tell the truth they did all of this because they wanted to be recognized by you and by everyone else this is an at attention um needing person this person craves attention like they crave it and they just couldn't get enough of it through a traditional way of being. They had to go outside many, many boxes and into some ra rather dingy little spaces because that's where they could be recognized and appreciated or so they thought. Patience and planning. Three of Wands, Patience, again, is clarifying Patience. Seven of Pentacles, Progress. So this person isn't giving up on you. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're watching. They're planning something. They want to come toward you. They're waiting for whatever this is, this court situation, to settle they think there can be a settlement that they can get out of this seven of pentacles nine of cups nine of pentacles king of swords so this is a masculine energy a greedy king of swords four of pentacles is behind that judgment this masculine knows that he's under judgment but he's not giving up he thinks that he can rectify this situation with the group that he's in and with you. Third eye chakra. So he could be receiving some downloads. Mm. Star. You're the star. You are the star energy. We've got Knight of Cups. They wished they would have given you an offer, although that offer wasn't going to be much of anything spirit blocked it and then we got three of swords here so they know whatever offer they try to come up with to present to you it's not going to be accepted they do know that that's probably yeah that's why this third eye chakra is here so they're concerned about an offer that they want to extend to the empress you're the empress they want to come forward with an offer we've got three of swords three of wands 
But like I said in the beginning, they're not giving up. So you can't expect to hear from this person. And uh, this is the time now because it's May. So typically, cyclically speaking, when you have past people, they like to make an appearance when it gets warmer, when the sun is out, when there's light. Everyone seems to be in a happier mood, lighter mood, fun. They want to have fun with you again. This person wants to have fun. They haven't had fun, not genuine fun in a long time. Fake. Base chakra. Why is the base chakra here with message? It's hermit flipped out in the deck. I'm going to put it back. Maybe this person has been spending some time to themselves. Their understanding, their greed has gotten them where they are. We've got Two of Pentacles flexibility. Didn't pop out. So they're really struggling with a few truths that they know they need to uh, admit to themselves, this person. One of which is that they will be going through a hard time no matter what they do to get out of it. They are going to have to feel this poverty that's a part of their judgment. It is a part of their transformation. In order for them to transform to however they want to transform, which feels like they want to try to put a toe in the light worker pond, if you will, they still have to endure this. There's no getting around it. When spirit, what spirit says is what spirit says, and that's what goes. Base chakra. Let's see if we get any poppers. All right. Ooh, shit. Lord have mercy. Eight of swords. So this person could be facing prison. Nine of swords. They're very anxious about it. They could have been served a prison sentence or they could have recently gotten out of prison. It could be like a halfway house or something like that. Usually when you do like white, because this does feel very white collary, white collar crime. You do like the little fed stint or whatever. It's not like you're in some, uh, I don't know, state penitentiary. You're like, yeah, I mean, I don't have much experience with penitentiaries other than some people that I know that were locked up. But that was way, way long ago. So anyway, let's just keep going. This person could, like I said, have gone to jail, is going to jail. They want to tell you this, but their throat chakra is locked. They can't find the words. They're embarrassed. They don't want to be recognized for being a criminal, especially by you. Okay, well, so nine, if they're very anxious, very anxious. Transformation, ooh, transformation, seven of wands. They want to be brave. They want to take whatever is happening to them. Um, page of cups at the bottom. They want, you inspire this person. They know that you are strong. And they have seen you endure some very trying times without crying on top of a mountain and involving every last person you know. Sharing your grief and your tears with others isn't your thing. So this person could be trying to emulate that energy of yours by taking their punishment if you will, spiritual and or man-made on the chin, both actually, but yes. Yeah, so they're trying to take their, their hits and still stand, you know, anything else from this deck? No, let's see what we get from these cards. Let's get clear, more clarity on this three of wands. Yeah. Cause patience is coming out twice. But I'm pretty sure it's got to do with you. They, they're they not going to not wait for you. This person will always wait for you. Yep. I mean, but, you know, just because someone waits doesn't mean, like, 
All right, I'm not going to even say that because it's not nice. Okay. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Please and thank you. Oh my gosh. Three of Wands. Uh oh. Crochet. Temperance teaches geometry and liberal sciences, makes great noises and warms water. This person could have been or could be serving a prison sentence where there is warm water. They could be uh, very smart in the sciences and maybe, I don't know, maybe they're getting some time off of their time by teaching other inmates something or another. Temperance, they're being guided to teach what they know. Temperance is also patience. Hmm. Let's get another card for temperance. Three. What the heck, man? Come on, spirit. Three of Wands. Three of Wands clarified by temperance, clarified by Three of Wands. Construction of the universe, help with great works, protection from adversaries, the God of hope. They're waiting for you. They're not going anywhere. They want to get back in, in alignment with you. They're patient. They're planning. They're praying. They're hoping. Hmm. Interesting energy. Huh. Nine of Swords again. We've already got that out. Causes great battles and wars. Causes wounds. So that's the thing with this energy. One minute they love you. The next they hate you. They could want to come start over. Be all lovey-dovey. And then boom. Knock you out. This is not a stable energy. Star, they see you as a star. They want your star qualities. This is in reverse. The Hermit, alchemy and transformation rules natural events, helps with spiritual progress in reverse. This person is not healing. They're not making spiritual progress and they want to stop yours. Yep. What did I, I told y'all before this even came out in reverse that that's what this person was. It didn't matter how long they waited or what they said at the end of the day or the beginning, they are going to deceive you. Hmm. All right, well whatever six of cups past person they're very motivated they have been humiliated they are fallen they could very well be fallen angel archetype this is definitely fallen angel archetype energy <sighs> yep you can't it just flipped out six of cups and ten of cups Creates love between man and woman. Creates thunder and great storms. Gives answers on divine secrets. Now see, this is the dark and this is the light. The Six of Cups is the light. So this person sees you as this light, this innocence, right? They are definitely the dark. And they want your divine secrets, they want your star power. They want your Ten of Cups. And if they can't have the Ten of Cups with you, then they want to empty every last cup of yours. Knight of Cups. So this offer that is taking a lot of time to come to your front door will be presented quite pretty but once you unwrap the gift box 
no telling what's inside. Three of Swords. Dark. Travels the world over in an instant and brings anything anywhere. Gives the truth about thefts and hidden treasures. Willing to do anything one commands. Three of Swords. This person is willing to do anything to get out of this pain. This pain that they realize through their third eye is because of them being separated from you. They fear that this is a permanent separation and they want to reverse it. All right, this is starting to feel quite draining. The moon is at the bottom, Gabriel. Divine revelation reveals messages has the power to destroy. Concern, messages. So on the one hand, this person wants to give you a message and hope that you will like accept it. And on the other hand, this person wants to give you this message and hope that it devastates you as well. Make it make sense. Like this is that, that, that. Twin flame in reverse energy where the twin has gone off and married someone and like they still are praying and hoping that once you hear that they've been married or are married from their lips that you're going to just crumble. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. It's not funny. Nine of Swords. They're losing a lot of sleep. Got to lay off that alcohol. Got to lay off that sugar water. Nine of Wands. The Fool. And Seven of Swords. Man, I'm telling you. Okay, so this is cool. Here we have, with this Six of Swords, we have thefts, hidden treasures. And then with this Seven of Swords, again, we have reveals hidden treasures. So this person could have hidden some money somewhere, or they want to give you some money to hide it for them. They think you're an idiot. So this person could very well have some sort of bounty somewhere that they want to hand off to you. And that's what they're going to try to use to get in. Yep. Will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. Yep. Universal medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of mysteries. They see you as a mystery. They know that your soul splits at night and you're able to travel. They are aware that you know far more than they want to admit. But they got a they got a scheme. They got a they got a scheme here. It's got to do with some money. Maybe even like digital currency, Bitcoin, something that they managed to get offshore, maybe even that they want to bring back into the state. Something like that. Or maybe it's even art. Some sort of uh Com no, commodity, not a commodity, something, something valuable, some hidden treasure could even be like an ancestral gift of some sort, something worth some money that maybe even they want you to sell for them, something, something like that, I don't know. All right, Seven of Wands, let me close this out soon. Page of Swords, and they are, of course, spying. This person is very patient when it comes to them watching you. They can watch you for very long periods of time. They probably have the kind of vision where they can see really well from far away, so they're able to keep an eye on you without you visibly being able to see them. 
but you can still feel their energy. I'm reluctantly going to close this reading out with my little terror deck. <laughs> I've always got a new name for this deck because the cards that consistently come out are kind of cuckoo. But let's see. Final messages, Spirit, please, and thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching if you're still with me. Destitute and depraved just came out. Spouse addicted to these things. So, yeah, like I said, it's the same energy, the same thing, but it's just kind of like flipping around a little bit. It's a couple of new twists here. Like the thing with them wanting to give you something, some hidden treasure. They want to give you something of value, but there is an attachment to it that could get your ass caught up and you could end up very much in this poverty. That would end up being your judgment. So don't be tempted by fool's gold because this is what, that's all this is, fool's gold. And I believe the fool is here. Yep, the fool. Will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. You do not you do not need to assist anyone with their great undertakings. You've got your own great undertakings to undertake. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it. Time for me to go drink some water. I will see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much.